UK means so much to me because this is where my life experience, uh, my, my, my turning point began, I would say. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm honored to take a stand uh, and to support those who are being silenced, who maybe are struggling with same-sex attractions and desire change, desire to uh, raise a family, have a, have a wife, have a, have a husband, have kids. Uh, I, think, I think they deserve to be celebrated in their choices and uh, we're here to support them, to love them and to say you deserve a, a sound, you deserve a voice just like everyone else. And um, so when you're on the programme, The X Factor, and you share your testimony, can you tell us what, what happened from there, like as they tried to silence you, what, what, what happened? Like? Um, yeah, so yeah, it was the, um, the Minister of Equality and, uh, and, and the multitudes, I would say, as well. Uh, there was a lot of aggression and the comments because, because my interview together with my uh, solo audition was also uploaded on YouTube. However, um, there was a lot of external pressure that led to my interview and my uh, solo audition being pulled from YouTube. And this was uh, what uh, Alianza Bidla has called a breach of human rights. And other uh, politicians in Malta who have spoken, including in Parliament, uh, namely David Stellini, who did say that this was a breach of human rights and if I took it to court, I would definitely win the case. So I think it's, it's very clear. Um, and. Yeah, so, so practically I experienced persecution, but as a, as a Christian, I would say I rejoice that I'm, I can experience persecution, not because I've done something wrong, but because I am proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ, that we can, we can experience change and freedom from uh, such lifestyles. So, so yeah, that, that, that is what happened, yeah. And how did you, you know, being called homophobic and hateful and stuff, mm. how did it make you feel? Was it quite a stressful experience? Is it Right. Um, I, I definitely don't want to get accustomed to it, but um, it, it, it doesn't shake me, it doesn't shake my faith because I am building my life on the solid rock, right, on the words of Christ. Um, however, I guess I have a heart for the multitudes and I don't want them to be deceived into thinking that there is any hatred expressed in this message. If anything, uh, we, are, we are the only ones who are standing with a minor group in society that says, look, I don't want to be gay, I don't want to be lesbian, I don't want to be transgender, I don't want to be transsexual. What, what if I don't want, what, why, why should I be silenced? Why, why should I be mocked if I want to move away from this lifestyle? So we're basically taking a stand even against discrimination because the government right now is saying we should discriminate against these people, we should not give them a voice, they are hateful, they, they, they do not deserve to be heard or seen or anything like that. So. So yeah, I have a heart because I don't want the Maltese people, my countrymen, to be deceived um, because of the, what the media is falsely saying about my life experience. Yeah. And we've just spoken to a Maltese politician who's here today and he said that if we were having this conversation in Malta, there's, there's a danger of being arrested for talking about these topics. Have you felt, has that been a danger for you? Yes, I, I have concerns for the for the future of freedom of speech in Malta. I have great concerns. In fact, uh, the Malta gay rights movement has has been trying to uh, make ex LGBT testimonies look like it's an advertising of some kind of conversion therapy, as they call it. Um, I'm very uncomfortable with that phrase. I think it's the it's the most ridiculous phrase in the 21st century that pe that people are buying into. I mean, we're being compared to people who do electric shocks to change, which is ridiculous. And people are buying into the, the biggest fabrication of the 21st century, as I like to call it, conversion therapy. Um, I think it's creating a, a lot of misunderstandings. I think it's making very dangerous links between ex-gay uh, people and, and, and people who do electric shocks and just extreme therapies. So. So I am very grieved about that uh, because there are very dangerous associations being made which are targeted at, uh, at polluting and destroying um, our image and tarnishing it, which, which is very sad.